Understanding the core differences between bridge mode and access point mode is essential for effective network management in 2025. These two configurations serve fundamentally different purposes in modern networking. Bridge mode transforms a router into a simple pass-through device. When enabled, it disables the router's internal routing functions, including DHCP server, NAT translation, and firewall protection. In bridge mode, the router essentially becomes transparent to the network. All network management is handled by another upstream device, typically your main router or ISP equipment. This configuration eliminates double NAT issues and reduces latency by removing unnecessary routing overhead, making it ideal for gaming and high-performance applications. Access point mode converts a router into a wireless access point while maintaining some of its routing capabilities. This mode is designed to extend network coverage without creating separate network segments. Unlike bridge mode, AP mode preserves network management features and can handle local DHCP services. It maintains a single SSID across multiple devices, enabling seamless roaming throughout the coverage area. Access point mode is particularly valuable for extending wireless coverage in large buildings and supporting multiple wireless networks with different security policies. The fundamental differences between these modes become clear when we examine three critical areas, network management, IP assignment, and double NAT handling. In bridge mode, network management is completely disabled. The router stops performing DHCP, NAT, and firewall functions, passing all traffic directly to the upstream device for processing. Access point mode maintains local network management capabilities. The device continues to provide routing services and can manage local network functions while extending wireless coverage. For IP assignment, bridge mode relies entirely on the upstream device. Your main router or ISP equipment handles all IP address distribution across the network. In contrast, access point mode can handle local DHCP services, potentially managing IP addresses for devices connected directly to it while coordinating with the main network. Perhaps most importantly, bridge mode completely eliminates double NAT issues by removing the routing layer entirely. This prevents the network conflicts that can cause connectivity problems. Access point mode can potentially create double NAT situations if not configured properly, as it maintains routing capabilities that might conflict with the main router's functions. This diagram illustrates the network address translation process that bridge mode eliminates. When multiple routers perform NAT, it creates routing conflicts and connectivity issues. Performance differences between these modes are significant. Bridge mode typically offers 5 to 15 milliseconds lower latency because it eliminates routing processing overhead. Bridge mode also provides 15 to 20% higher throughput and uses 40% less memory since it doesn't need to maintain routing tables and process NAT translations. Access point mode while maintaining more functionality, introduces standard routing overhead that can impact performance in high demand scenarios. This comprehensive comparison shows the key characteristics of each mode. Bridge mode excels in simplicity and performance, while access point mode offers greater functionality and flexibility. The choice between bridge mode and access point mode depends on your specific network requirements, performance needs, and management preferences. Understanding these core differences enables you to make informed decisions for optimal network configuration. Now that we understand the core differences, let's explore when to use each mode through real-world scenarios and proven examples. Bridge mode excels in four key scenarios. First, gaming networks benefit from reduced latency. Second, enterprise environments need seamless integration with existing infrastructure. Third, bypassing ISP equipment limitations improves performance. Fourth, mesh networks use bridge mode for their primary backbone connections. A real gaming cafe implemented bridge mode and achieved remarkable results. They reduced ping times by 25 milliseconds on average, eliminated double NAT issues completely, and improved customer satisfaction scores by 40%. Access point mode serves different networking needs. It excels at extending Wi-Fi range in large buildings, deploying separate guest networks for security, supporting legacy devices with older wireless standards, 
and implementing bandwidth management with quality of service controls. Here's a typical hybrid home network where access point mode extends coverage to wireless devices while maintaining centralized management through the main router. A Fortune 500 company deployed a hybrid strategy using bridge mode for backbone connections and access point mode for client access. This approach delivered a 40% reduction in network latency and achieved 99.9% .9 uptime. When choosing between modes, follow this three-step decision framework. First, assess your network requirements, including performance needs and coverage area. Second, evaluate your existing infrastructure and equipment capabilities. Third, plan for future scalability and technology upgrades. This comparison table summarizes the optimal scenarios for each mode. Bridge mode excels for gaming and enterprise integration, while access point mode is ideal for range extension and guest networks. This bridge mode configuration shows how two separate networks can be connected seamlessly, maintaining independent management while enabling communication between network segments.